quickly now shift our attention to another important update. We've been tracking this since the whole of yesterday. The death toll of Indians in the Kuwait fire surged to at least 42 as a massive blaze engulfed a building housing foreign workers. Of the total 49 foreign workers killed across uh, 42 approximately victims were confirmed to be Indian nationals, most of whom were breadwinners for their families. Of the Indian victims, the health ministry in Kerala has confirmed that 24 of them hailed from the state, five were from Tamil Nadu. External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar spoke to his Kuwaiti counterpart and urged him to ensure early repatriation of the mortal remains of those killed in this devastating fire tragedy in Kuwait. On the directives of the Prime Minister, in fact, uh, MOS Kirti Vardhan Singh was also promptly dispatched to Kuwait to facilitate the uh, expedited repatriation of mortal remains and provide medical assistance as well to those injured. Remember, uh, approximately 30 odd people have sustained injuries and are undergoing treatment as we speak. But what do we know about this tragedy so far? It started in a kitchen in a six story building, started from the lower floors. Local authorities were informed after over an hour. That's again a worrying sign. Many people remain trapped for hours at length. The building had nearly 160 people living in it. So approximately 160 living in it, 49 uh, succumbed to serious injuries. All of them lost their lives. 30 odd are still uh, receiving treatment. They're still undergoing treatment. All the residents were workers of the same company and the building is reportedly owned by a Malayali businessman. That's what we know so far. But as far as this tragedy is concerned, very, very concerning. But the big question is, what about the violations? There are many who say that uh, greed perhaps took the lives of those. Why are they saying that? We'll try and deep dive into it with more details coming in. But first up, here are the reactions. Very sad incident, tragic incident. Truly, truly tragic. Uh, in fact, uh, they had packed about a hundred, couple of hundred people into that building, and it's really sad to hear that the fire killed. I believe they initially said 35. Now it looks like 41. Dozens more are injured. Xavier Rodriguez continues to stay on with us in this second debate as well. We have Pooja Tripathi, spokesperson of the Congress, Rajpal Tyagi ji, managing director and partner of International Interiors and activist is with us on the broadcast as well. He's live from Kuwait in the best uh, situation, best position to tell us about the latest. Uh, Mr. Tyagi, if I can begin with you, I want to understand what's going on. You know, there are several grieving families here who are now waiting for the mortal remains. They want to not delay the last rites. What's happening on that front? If you can quickly get us an update, sir. Yes. First of all, um, it is very sad and very tragic. And not only people in Kuwait, rather all Indian fraternity uh, would like to pay their condolences to, to the families of these brave people who, as you said, 49 in total, and I think 42 or 43 yes. Indians passed away in this tragic accident. Uh, what we heard when we woke up yesterday morning, mm. that around 3.30 or 4 o'clock early morning, uh, this building, which is uh, 20 kilometers away from the center of Kuwait, area is called, it's Manga, and there were several labor camps. And in one of the buildings, the fire started. Mm. And uh, I think it took around more than hour and a half to two. Mm. And by that time, uh, because most of the people were sleeping, sleeping, so they were not awake. So it was a panic. And this accident happened and occurred. Okay. And uh, those people lost their life. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tyagi, we're going to have to we keep it real been... short. Unfortunately, it needs a lot of time, but we had to dip into the live visuals that were coming in a little while earlier. So, uh, given the shortage of time, can you quickly tell us about the version that's being put out officially by the Kuwaiti authorities who say the real estate owners are to be blamed? It's their greed that's killed so many people. I want to take that to my uh, political we... experts as well. If you can quickly respond to that, sir. Sure, ma'am. Uh, so far, everything is under investigation and Kuwaiti authorities are investigating, but they are guessing that there might be a short circuit or there might be a okay. gas leakage and the fire burnt out from the kitchen or so. Hmm. 
Okay, all right. Uh, Pooja, you know, which brings me to the question on the manner in which the opposition has come out to say that perhaps we need a bill uh, to make sure that the working conditions of migrants uh, in the Middle East, in countries such as this, uh, are improved. You know, there are better working conditions provided to them. Where is this entire narrative coming from since we don't quite know, though, you know, all game for these kind of provisions to migrant workers, but where are these concern, concerns, political concerns coming from, given that investigations haven't still revealed what really had transpired? It seems we all are moved by this grave tragedy. You know, I was yesterday in a panel when this news broke out and when Anchor uh, con contacted somebody from Quebec and she asked that, can you uh, yeah, tell us how many Indians are there in the uh, people who have been diseased? And she, he said, he said, I'm really sorry, but I think everyone is an Indian because the whole building was comprised of Indian immigrants and my heart sank. Yeah. I think this, yeah. this, this is a grave reminder of the pains and the troubles that these immigrant workers, this migrant workers, and these are all blue collared workers. They left their shows, they left their homes to earn something, to give a good uh, life to their families. And I think what Dr. Tharoor said, I would repeat that, that he said that there should be a proper immigration bill in place, which lays down clear cut guidelines on pay, residence, work, you know, uh, everything and th that should be you know that should be controlled by that should be regulated by the government of india and it's high mm. time this immigration bill comes to okay. fore because security of our immigrant workers this in remittances home it's not okay. just remittance it philosophy. should be of priority it should pri it should be prioritized puja sorry to interrupt you there once again i have very little time left and savi i want to quickly come to you uh, Pooja's coming from a place of concern and we all are concerned. The fact that, you know, we heard of 40 individuals, Indians, all of them having lost their life to this tragedy did concern all of us. And we've been wondering ever since what really may have happened. The fact that they were running floor to floor and couldn't escape really does expose the kind of loopholes that must be addressed, isn't it? I agree with you. For somebody who grew up in the Middle East uh, and who spent almost 22 years of my life in the Middle East, let me tell you that there is certainly an eminent need for the Indian government as well as the Gulf countries to work on what is known as the kafala system. The kafala system that exists in the, in the Gulf countries is about migrant workers, in particular the labor laborers. And in most cases, if you actually go to study and realize what even happened in Qatar during the, the Qatar games that were there, so many, so many of our Indian expatriates were actually, you know, uh, facing strenuous conditions over there. So many mm. in thousands have actually died in those conditions. So the migrant worker conditions between, you know, the Indian worker going to the Gulf countries need to be addressed on an immediate basis by this government. The kafala system needs yes. to be real between the Indian government and the Gulf countries. You know, which only and tells I'm us we, we don't need to wait for wake-up calls like this. We don't need to wait for 40, 42 Indians losing their lives before something is done in the right direction. Savio, many thanks for speaking with us, thanking Pooja and uh, Rajpal Tyagi ji as well. That's all the time we have. We keep our sharp focus on that story along with the other big stories making headlines today. A quick break for now. That's all from me.